Welcome to the 100 mile journey. This is week seven of 21. Last week, my training was a little bit different, switched up, actually went on a vacation to, and stayed in South Lake Tahoe. Uh, this was near the start of the Western States 100, which by the way, the race is this weekend. It's going to be super hot for them. We're expecting temperatures to be at least 100 degrees. I wouldn't be surprised if it got up to 105 or 107 based on what was going on last week. I do want to give a shout out to our friend Joel Carson. Wish him all the luck in the world. He was fortunate enough to get into the race. We'll try to feature him on a video down the road. So I didn't put in nearly as many miles as I wanted to this week. But I did get quite a bit of elevation and vertical training in. The altitude definitely had an effect on my VO2. It really did feel like my muscles were starving from time to time. Just didn't didn't have everything it took to get up the, the hills. Did a lot of walking. But after a few days of this, uh, I has, was actually feeling uh, pretty energized, pretty good. I can see how the training and living at altitude would definitely have a huge impact on athletic endeavors. I wish I could actually get up and train a little bit more in there. Uh, I feel like uh, it would help me get stronger. It also help improve my aerobic engine. Uh, it was um, it's super nice to also be out of the 110 degree weather that was going on down here in the valley where I live. So. Um, but I also got to run one of my favorite trails, which is the Five Lakes Trail. Starts in uh, Alpine Meadows and then joins up with the PCT. Get about a thousand feet of elevation, just a little um, under a mile, under over a mile, somewhere in there. But it, it it's a, quite a climb. It's quite a uh, quite a journey to get there. I loved it. So as part of my product shout outs that I like to do. I just wanted to give a big shout out to the Hydropack soft flask, flask, that is. I may have mentioned them before, but over the past couple weeks, I've fallen about three times on the trail. Um, with these bad boys on my hands like this, breaking my falls, no issues whatsoever. These things are very durable. The other thing I like about them is in the past, I have had a couple of these Hydropax develop holes. Took a picture of the hole, sent an email, no hassle whatsoever. Replacement was very fast. The company is absolutely world-class. Now I haven't been given anything for my review, but if they wanted to send me any free products, I'm here to take it. And I will give a review on it, an honest review. So that is uh, pretty much for this week uh, for my updates. Next week, I'm going to go ahead and make the announcement of the uh, event that I'm going to, um, um, to to run this year. I'll also maybe talk a little bit about my uh, training uh, schedule changes that I need to make to, to accommodate that. And hopefully I'll also have a, a shoe review. It just depends on what shoe I get and how fast I can get it and get some miles in so that I can give uh, some opinions on it. As always, thank you very much for joining me. If you can get out and enjoy the great outdoors, please do. Thank you. Have a great week.